The European and the African continents are separated by a flow path that connects the Atlantic Ocean to the Mediterranean Sea. The above channel, referred to as a strait, is called the Strait of Gibraltar. Spain and Gibraltar are on the European side of the Gibraltar Strait, while Morocco and Ceuta are on the African side. The shortest distance between Africa and Spain is 8.9 miles, 14 kilometers, making it the narrowest point in the strait. To be more accurate, at the narrowest part of the Strait of Gibraltar, a ferry takes around 35 minutes to traverse from Europe to Africa. Africa may be seen from a number of locations in Europe near the Strait of Gibraltar. The northern Moroccan mountain ranges, often known as the Rif, emerge in the distance, creating a breathtaking scene. The Strait of Gibraltar crossing is a hypothetical tunnel spanning the Strait of Gibraltar, about 14 kilometer or 9 miles at its narrowest point, that would link Europe and Africa. The feasibility of building a bridge to span the strait had been explored by a consortium of American and British engineers. Spain and Morocco agreed in December 2003 to investigate the possibility of building an undersea rail tunnel to connect their train systems. Lombardi Engineering Limited, a Swiss engineering and design firm, was hired in late 2006 to prepare a railway tunnel design. The feasibility of the tunnel was questioned in a 2008 geological analysis. In March 2009, the Moroccan Societe Nationale d'Etudes, du Detroit de Gibraltar, SNED, and its Spanish equivalent, Sociedad Espaula de Estudios para la Comunicación Fija, a Traves de la Estrecho de Gibraltar SA, signed a deal for a cooperative system linking the two organizations, SESICSA. Welcome to Thinkrich Media, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business, and personal development content to inform, motivate, and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe entrepreneurship, rather than global pity, is the key to Africa's growth and development. So if you're African and you aren't subscribed to our community, you're missing out. This 38-kilometer-long excavated tunnel between Spain and Morocco has been suggested since 1869. Many versions of the scheme have been put forward over the last 150 years, with the most recent developed from 1996 and based on the Channel Tunnel between the UK and France. In January 2021, it was reported that the United Kingdom and Morocco would discuss building the crossing between Gibraltar and Tangiers. In the latest plan, solar energy produced in Africa could also be transported to Europe through the tunnel. The British government led by Prime Minister Boris Johnson is studying the completion of an undersea tunnel linking Gibraltar to Tangiers in partnership with the Moroccan government. Britain and Morocco are considering reviving a decades-old plan to connect Europe and Africa via a tunnel connecting the British overseas territory of Gibraltar to the Moroccan city of Tanger in the north. Discussion on plans for the first tunnel connecting Europe and Africa has been discussed since the late 19th century. The tunnel connecting Spain and Morocco from Tarifa to Tanger was estimated to cost $9.4 billion when originally proposed in 1869. Due to unsuitable tunneling terrain and funding constraints, this project was never completed. However, the project reportedly resurfaced following Brexit, as Prime Minister Boris Johnson's cabinet seeks new trade opportunities and relations. This was disputed by the Spanish newspaper Diario de Cadiz, which reported that a recent study conducted by the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Herringknecht, one of the world's largest tunneling firms, established the feasibility of the 38-kilometer tunnel. With the likelihood of developing trade relations with Morocco, this project is being studied and considered seriously, according to a report by the Arab Weekly. The governments of both countries have enlisted the help of veteran Swiss tunnel engineer Giovanni Lombardi to devise a plan for constructing the only direct physical link between the two continents. After his report, which will be based on recent extensive studies of the geological structures under the strait, is submitted next year, exploratory tunneling could begin. We are just beginning the work, but I would say this is more difficult than the Channel Tunnel, Mr. Lombardi told The Guardian. 
The main difference is the depth of the sea, but the geological conditions are also different. Mr. Giovanni estimates that it will take 15 years to build the 25-mile dual rail tunnel after preliminary studies. According to Spanish experts working on the project, rail passengers might be traveling to and from Africa by 2025 if no major geological or technical issues develop. It would be a double rail tunnel, the service tunnel in between, carrying 9 million passengers in the first year and 11 million after 10 years. In 2025, it may also transport 8 million tons of cargo. High-speed trains were scheduled to run through the tunnel, shortening travel times and allowing free flow of traffic between the two countries. Furthermore, the tunnel was built to ease the transit of solar energy generated in Africa to Europe. In 2020, following the infamous Brexit, a partnership agreement was signed in which Morocco and the UK agreed to use the Strait of Gibraltar as a potential hub for a 38-kilometer tunnel connecting the two countries. According to reports, Britain would be overjoyed that this project has been given the green light. Despite the fact that Spain was the frontrunner for this project for many years rather than Morocco, the project was never greenlit. Thus, the British have capitalized on the situation by selecting Morocco as Spain's successor. This tunnel line will link Europe and Africa via the cities closest to the Rock of Gibraltar. The tunnel's foundation will be constructed near the Mediterranean port of Tanger. As far as tunnel design is concerned, a variety of technologies could most likely be used. Depending on the current state of funds and how much the United Kingdom is willing to spend in light of the pandemic's impact on the nation. At the present time, the two parties do not formally confirm they have a realistic plan for the project, but the intention to complete that tunnel or bridge between Morocco and Gibraltar has been in negotiations since the signing of agreements between the two countries in October 2019. The first strategic dialogue between the United Kingdom and Morocco took place on July 2018 in London and was hosted by then Minister of Foreign Affairs Boris Johnson and attended by Moroccan Foreign Minister Nasser Barida. It aimed to strengthen cooperation in the political, economic, cultural and security fields. British officials foresee special relations between Morocco and the United Kingdom if the European Union ratifies the agreements between Spain and the United Kingdom regarding the future of Gibraltar within the Schengen area. They believe the tunnel could mean for the United Kingdom, keeping an open gateway with Europe in direct competition within Algeciras. Significant barriers remain as a four-kilometer stretch of the underwater section is reported to contain clay soils that may be difficult to tunnel through. Because of the importance of the project, it has been speculated that Boris Johnson will travel to Rabat, Morocco's capital, in order to advance the project, which would include Gibraltar in the near future. Before taking office, Boris Johnson, in his capacity as British Foreign Minister, was responsible for establishing this new strategic relationship with the kingdom, which began with a series of meetings in 2018 with his Moroccan counterpart, Nasser Barida, during which issues relating to the economy, culture, and security were discussed. After taking office, Boris Johnson has continued this work. Aside from that, because the United Kingdom is no longer a member of the European Union, Moroccan agricultural products can now be substituted for Spanish, Portuguese, and Italian products in the United Kingdom, among other countries. As a result of Morocco's offer to the British in exchange for better European ties, the relationship between the two countries grew even stronger. A gateway to Africa's culturally rich continent would be given to the British in exchange. One issue that needs to be addressed immediately is the issue of the borders in and around Morocco, with the train serving as the primary mode of transportation throughout the entire process, which is currently underway. They have confidence that the tunnel will be a source of revenue to help keep the European gateway operational. This initiative will be extremely beneficial to Morocco. Morocco will benefit politically and economically from close cooperation with the United Kingdom since it will be able to sell agricultural products and export other resources.
Morocco has volunteered to act as the UK gateway to Africa, as the two countries' relations have improved since Brexit. Despite the fact that the tunnel is still in its early stages, it is seen as a game changer for both countries. Thank you for watching. If there are any tips you think should be on this list but is not, leave a comment and let us know. Help our channel grow. We hope this video has been helpful to you. Support us by liking the video, subscribing, and turning on your notifications.